The presenter is Dr. Tomohiro Oiwa, CEO of Arcta Therapeutics. So, are you ready to bid? Ah, yeah. Yeah, thank you. So, please give a warm welcome to him. Uh, thank you for listening. Uh, I'm glad to uh, here, be here. So, let me introduce uh, first myself. Uh, my name is Tomohiro Oiwa, and oh, my name is Tomohiro Oiwa, and I'm a physician and ex-management consultant. So I graduated from Kyoto University School of Medicine, and work, I worked as a management consultant uh, as BCG, and I uh, started a new company uh, yesterday. So <laughs> I started, <laughs> yeah, it's really true. And uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and my, our uh, co-founder is Na Dr. Nakayama and Dr. Ikir, and uh, Dr. Nakayama is very famous uh, developer of Kenzan Method, and Dr. Ikea is very famous for uh, IPS cell uh, researcher. And, yeah. And, oh, sorry. Well, our main target issues and what we want to realize is uh, we, we want to uh, solve disorder of joints, uh, is a key bottleneck in healthy life expansion. And three life expansion. So the bottleneck in our society now is uh, the healthy of uh, these knee, uh, knee joints. Uh, and for example, uh, patient with antifrost knee joints can't continue many sports such as jogging. And so the, left, the right, right side, uh, his name is Brandon Joy, and he's very famous and a player, but retired at the young age of 28 after knee joint injury. So uh, we want to uh, realize a more healthy and prosperous society with our IPS, IPS cell knee implant. And uh, this is an uh, overview of market. Um, this is my overview of market. And knee joint replacement surgery is a highly effective treatment for osteoarthritis, but the indications are generally limited to elderly patients only. This is because uh, the uh, conventional artificial knee joints has some issues. That is high inf infection risk and low durab durability and high revision risk. And so this is because the, this then so significant limitations on the types of sports and the amount of exercise and not recommended for people under 60 years old in Japan. So uh, because of biofilm formation, artificial implants not limited to artificial joints are susceptible to bacterial infection. And of course, not everyone uh, becomes such a sad story, but some, uh, some un unfortunate patients uh, cut their legs or severe infection. And uh, since artificial knee joints consist of uh, such metal and polyethylene, so damage risk is inevitable. And uh, the implant used for revision surgery becomes larger in size and more invasive. The bone and the implant are firmly refixed, so the deteriorated implant cannot be easily resolved. Therefore, it is often necessary to cut a part of the bone and replace it, and revision surgery often uh, results in a shorter bone. So this is our solution. If the implant is made entirely of cells, uh, so it, resist, it is resistant to bacterial infection it, and the same durability as human cartilage. And so revision is not invasive. So the, uh, this is our uh, product and it is made of 100% from IPS cells. And our technologies are very focused, uh, very seem to be attractive in markets. And uh, we, uh, so the, this is the first case in the world, so as success of maintaining a curved surface over a wide area. And we trust that regeneration of the entire joint surface is possible with improvements in implant design and surgical methods. So this, this is our product. And this photo is uh, three months after implantation.
And of course, uh, uh, there are some other products that is uh, in market already, but uh, our products are superior to those of other companies, uh, especially in terms of area treatable and the improvement in activity after treatment. So let me talk more about uh, these uh, strengths. Our products enable the treatment of cartilage injuries of large uh, areas, uh, curved faces that were, that were previously impossible. This is because other companies can only treat shallow and flat regions, and our products have no size or shape limitation and can over entire cartilage surface of the joint. Unlike other products that have occasional risk, we can treat deep regions. And we also achieved uh, compressive strength equivalent to naive cartilage range. This is uh, data of uh, vitro, but uh, this, uh, this illustrates that the, our strengths. And uh, our target patient, uh, this uh, illustrates target patient portfolio. And we provide the new treatment option for patients who want to continue exercise and patients who have progressed at a young age. So our target area is this uh, right upper side. And this is illustrates the process of manufacturing and replacement uh, transplantation. And we uh, made, we will make our products from uh, universal IP cell and with two of 3D, bio 3D printing. But uh, our strength is our ex exclusive technology and knowledge. So induction part and maturation part and transplantation part. And this is outline of PNS development timeline. So one milestone is uh, the phys uh, physician, uh, physician led clinical test. We, we will start uh, in 2025. And currently, we are looking for VCs, VCs that can participate in our, our C round and companies that can consider joint research with us. And this is the final slide. <laughs> and uh, we, we want to uh, be a uh, R&D platform of regenerative implants. So our, uh, we, we can make another uh, various uh, products such as meniscus ligament tendon with these core two technologies. Thank you. Thank you very much.